is one of the oldest handicrafts, with every culture possessing its own form of the artisanal skill. In the Philippines, the traditional art of mat weaving is preserved to this day in the historical town of Basay Sama. Basay weavers use tikog, a grassy indigenous plant, in the making of the tikog mat locally called bani. After the town was hard hit by Super Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, a federation of tikog weavers and workers partnered with Care Philippines International Agency to provide continuous livelihood to thousands of families, most of whom were tikog processors and tikog farmers. The preparation of the tikog plant for weaving is completed after almost 12 hours with the pounding and flattening of the fibers, taking as long as two back-breaking hours to finish. No wonder, then, that it takes four to five days to produce a single banik. It was therefore clear to organize groups of Tikog weavers that to increase their productivity, they needed to... Good morning, everyone. Okay, so magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. It is my pleasure to be your host for today's webinar. My name is Marvin Ramones, and with me is Ms. Flo. Pati... Ay, nakamute ba? Mm -hmm. Pati camera mo para may wala. Ay, wala po pa ang meta to Ito 
Okay na tayo. Okay, start. Okay. So, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. It is my pleasure to be your host for today's webinar. My name is Marlene Ramones and with me is Miss Jo Dime. Sa loob po ng isang linggo, simula po noong lunes, November 23, hanggang Sunday, November 29, atin pong ipinagdiriwang ang isang mahalagang aktividad ng ating gobyerno na tinatawag na National Science and Technology Week or NSTW. Malaka po ang kontribusyon ng agham at teknolohiya sa progreso ng isang bansa at kinikilala ng ating pamahalaan ang malaking kontribusyon na nagagawa ng agham at teknolohiya. Bigyan ko po kayo ng maikling background tungkol sa NSTW. Noong 1950s, sinimulan ng National Science Development Board ang pagdiriwang ng Philippine National Science Week tuwing ikatlong linggo ng November. Dito na din po ginaganap yung pagbibigay ng pugay sa mga natatangin nating mga scientists, researchers, inventors at institutions. Taong 1982, nang kinilala sa buong bansa ang NSTW sa pamamagitan ng Proclamation Number no. 2214, na pinirmahan ng Pangulong Ferdinand E. Marcos at na, nalipat sa pagal, pangalawang linggo ng Hulyo ang pagsasagawa ng NSTW taon-taon. Taong 1990, sa ilalim ng Pangulong uh, Corazon C. Aquino, inilunsad ang Science and Technology Master Plan or STMP kasabay ng pagdiriwang ng 32nd NSTW. Hangarin ng STMP, na maitatag ang ninanais na direksyon ng ating bansa sa larangan ng SNT o Science and Technology. Dito nagsimulang maging bahagi ng taunang NSTW ang pagsasagawa ng Science and Technology Fair. Kaya sa taon ng pagsasagawa ng NSTW, ang publiko ay binibigyan ng pagkakataon na malaman at maunawaan kung paano nakatutulong na paunlarin ang pamumuhay ng bawat Pilipino at bigyan ng karampatang solusyon ang mga suliranin ng bansa sa tulong ng siyensya at teknolohiya. Kabilang na rito ang mga makabagong serbisyo at produkto na binuo ng ating mga siyentipiko, pananaliksik at inhinyero. Sa taong ito ng 2020, ang mga virtual exhibits at ang mga webinars o forum na inihanda ng mga ahensya ng DOST ay nakatoon sa tema na agham at teknolohiya, sandigan ng kalusugan, kaayusan, kabuhayan at kinabukasan. Well, to begin this program, we are pleased to have Engineer Robert Odison to give us an opening remarks. 
Engineer Dison is currently the executive director of the DOST MIRDC or the Metals Industry Research and Development Center. He earned both his bachelor and master science degrees in electrical engineering from the University of Philippines, Diliman. He handled various positions in the private sector, namely uh, consultant for electrical engineering, R&D manager and technical development officer. His first position in the government was when he joined the workforce of the Advanced Science and Technology Institute of DOST, in which he later became the officer in charge of the microelectronics division. Again, he went back to the government sector in which he was given an executive position. He was the assistant secretary of the OST in 2010. And in 2013, he was appointed as officer in charge of MIRDC. And eventually he became the executive director of MIRDC in 2016. Concurrent to his position as executive director of MIRDC, is also the manager of the program Transforming the Philippine MSMEs through Industry 4.0 Technologies. He's also the project leader of the establishment of Advanced Mechatronic Robotics and Industrial Automation Laboratory or the uh, so-called Ameria Project. Among the recognitions he received are the Manuel Cruel Award for Advanced Engineering Technology Application in 2019, and Asian Scientist 100 Award given in 2020, this year. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me welcome Engineer Roberto, Robert Odison, Sir Bob. Thank you, Marlene. Malino ba? Naririnig ako? Yes, it's clear. Okay, thank you sa introduction. I'm looking at the list of participants. Parang mas marami pa ang mga taga MIRD series to kaysa sa mga webinar participants natin. Ah. Nonetheless, I would like to greet everyone. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Lalo na yung mga participants natin from the manufacturing and metalworking sector. Meron din yata tayong from the design, design sector, yung mga private engineering company yung nag-product uh, design. Meron, meron din ba sa construction? Uh, from the government. And sana meron din sa academ. Uh, in today's webinar, we will show you the RTA and R RHA. Ano ba yung RTA, RHA? Ano sila? Sila yung rice transplanter attachment and rice harvester attachment. Ano sila? At, uh, attachment sa hand tractor. So, sa mga magsasaka dyan, kung meron kayo mga, meron na kayo mga hand tractors, hindi nyo na kailangan pang bumili ng separate na transplanter or ng harvester. Kakabit nyo lang ito sa existing uh, hand tractor nyo. Pwede nang mag-convert mag yung in yung existing na uh, gamit into another uh, farm equipment. So dito sa webinar na ito, makikita nyo kung paano gamitin ito at paano rin gumawa nito. So yung mga fabricators natin dyan, sana ma makinig kayo mabuti para makita nyo kung na madali lang naman palang mag magfabricate nito at ma madagdagan yung mga product lines nyo. Pwede nyo itong uh, gawin at maibenta sa ating mga magsasaka. Papakita rin namin yung mga facility ng MIRDC na makakatulong sa paggawa ng uh, equipment na ito. So yun, sa webinar na ito, gusto natin i-link up yung mga farmers, yung mga gumagamit ng ng equipment at yung mga manufacturers, yung mga fabricators na gumagawa naman ito. Sana magkaroon tayo ng magandang samahan para mapalago natin yung ating agriculture industry at yung ating metalworking industry. 
Uh, para naman sa mga nasa academe at sa yung mga faculty natin at mga estudyante na andyan, layo natin na ma-inspire kayo na mag-isip pa ng mga pwede pang innovation. Ito nga, nag-innovate tayo from a simple hand tractor, pwede natin siya magamit for other purposes, magkakabit lang tayo ng attachment. Dito, uh, yung mga estudyante natin, sana ma-inspire kayo na mag-isip, mag-gamitin uh, ang ating im imagination para makapag-innovate pa ng bago pang mga other farm mechanization equipment. So bago tayo magsimula, again, inaanyayahan ko kayo na itong dito sa NSDW, itong NSDW ay isang linggo nga, na celebration ng National Science and Technology. Kaya maraming webinar dito, marami rin mga, kung marami rin mga exhibit, marami kayong makikita ang mga, mga achievements ng ating Department of Science and Technology sa larangan ng Agham at Ecoloia. So, punta lang kayo sa www.nstw.dost.ph para uh, ma-explore nyo ang ating exhibit at mga webinars. So yun po, uh, dito sa webinar na ito, sana ay makinig tayong lahat, mag-participate tayo, uh, ina-encourage namin kayo na magtanong. Huwag lang nanunood, huwag lang nakikinig, sana magsalita rin tayo or kung nahihiyama magsalita ay magsulat kayo doon sa chat box. Uh, uh, iwasan na, natin na yung, yung resource speaker lang nagsasalita. Gawin natin interactive ito. Uh, yun na lang ang magagawa natin ngayon na hindi tayo face to face but nasa sa virtual tayo pero gawin natin parang uh, magkakaharap pa rin tayo, magkakasama pa rin tayo. Mag-interact tayo sa isa't isa. So yun lang po magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Sir Bob, for that very engaging remarks. Salamat po. Ngayong umaga, ang webinar or forum na pinamagatang Leveling Up, Leveling Up Farm Mechanization ay kabilang sa mga teknolohiyang nasa temang kabuhayan. It focuses on the two technologies, the Rice Transplanter Attachment and Rice Harvester Attachment or RHA and RTA. They are categorized under kabuhayan. Yes, dahil magagamit natin ang teknolohiyang ito na tutulong para maiangat ang ating kabuhayan. That's why our objective in holding the webinar is to encourage fabricators to adopt or license the RTA and RHA to supply the mechanization requirements of farmers. And in order to realize this, we invited together equipment fabricators and end users, mga LGUs, farmers associations, or farmers cooperatives. We expect they are with us today. In this way, we can present to both potential users of RTA and RHA and potential fabricators of the technology and set productive interaction in motion. Okay, so. Now, uh, before we begin the technology presentation, we have a few housekeeping notes to make. May we call my co-host, Ma'am Jo Dime, for your turn. Ma'am Jo. Well, thank you very much, Marlene. Um, sandali lang po, ah. may isi-share lang po ako. So again, welcome sa ating um, uh, webinar on leveling up farm mechanization. So, ang schedule natin is November 25, 9 to 11. So, um, uh, itetake ko na rin po yung opportunity na, na late po tayo kasi inaantay po namin yung ibang mga participants to join in in this webinar. So, house rules lang po. 
So napansin ko po kanina yung mga naka-join dito, hindi po naka-rename yung profile. So we are requesting to rename your profile for attendance checking po. So surname and then the first name. So kung meron naman po kayong nahihirapan po kayo mag-rename, don't hesitate to message us in the chat box and we will rename your profile for you. So please observe mutual respect with each other. Mute your microphones during the presentation para magkaintindihan po tayo and maintindihan din po natin yung lecture ng ating speaker. And then as much as possible, please enable your video para makita namin yung inyong nagagwapuhan at nagagandahang mga mukha. So kami lang po ang mag-record ng itong uh, webinar na to. And you can also see us live sa YouTube and Facebook. Soft copies, hindi rin po namin may bibigay. And then we are allotting a portion, yung Q&A portion after the presentation. So please use the chat box to type in your questions or kung mahaba naman po, you can unmute your microphone to raise your questions. So ialat po namin after the presentation yung Q&A. And group photos will be taken during this seminar, a webinar and we will be posted it in our FB page. So kung ayaw niyo makita inyong mga pictures sa aming FB page, can inform us by using the chat box and make sure na acknowledge po namin yung message ninyo. So kung when, when disconnected, meron po sa inyong binigyan na link or ito po yung ating meeting ID and passcode. Any, and then e-certificates will be provided. Basta po... Uh, nakapag-register po kayo sa amin and you have submitted the evaluation form. So, meron po itong evaluation. So, huwag muna kayong aalis right after the Q&A portion. So, please like our MIRDC FB page, DOSD MIRDC. And if you have comments related to the webinars, kindly put the hashtag MIRDC webinars. So for further inquiries and concerns, you may email us at trainings at mirdc.dost.gov.ph or mirdc.its3 at gmail.com. May concerns po ba or clarifications? I think wala. Wala akong nakikitang reactions. Okay. Uh, ipapakilala ko na po sa inyo yung ating resource speaker for this webinar, si Engineer Emerito V. Banal. Engineer Banal is a graduate of BS in Mechanical Engineering at the University of the East. Had a master, master's degree in Manufacturing Engineering at De La Salle University. He was also an instructor at TU Pitagig and a and an accredited speaker on cost estimation of machining jobs, metal fabrication, machine shop operation, and project management. He is currently holding the position of Senior Science Research Specialist of Welding and Fabrication Unit under Technical Solution Services Section. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Engineer Emerito V. Banan. So kung wala na po, Sir, Sir Emer. Please unmute. Ayan. So... Good morning, everyone. Po, uh, uh, thank uh, thank you uh, to the uh, to our co-host, uh, Miss Jocelyn Dime, for the nice introduction. So, the title of the webinar is "Leveling Up uh, the Farm Mechanization in, uh, in Our Country." So, uh, we will. Uh, 
present the 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 technologies that we develop the uh, RTA and RHA which is the, an, uh, the transplanter attached uh, to the hand tractor and the uh, harvester attached to the hand tractor so may common ano siya yung hand tractor na widely used in in, in our country no? yung kulig lig so 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 uh, wh while we are waiting for the 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 uh, our presentation so just wait for a while uh, we have this uh, uh, webinar payback to 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 what so we will entertain questions after the playback of the webinar the uh, our presentation so just wait for a while uh, we have this uh, uh, webinar payback to, to I'm going to present so, the uh, uh, previously developed by MIRDC playback uh, 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 our presentation we for a while uh, we have this uh, uh, webinar playback to, to Please bear with us. Meron lang pong mga technical glitches. Uh, pasensya lang po. Sorry po. Thank you. season, uh, planting rice is never fun. Bending over the whole day, cannot even sit, cannot even stand. So in Tagalog, or, or uh, the uh, project previously developed by MIRDC, which was fun, which was funded by uh, the OSTP card, uh, Good 
morning everybody. I am Engineer Emerito B. Banalo, MIRDC, a senior SRS at the Welding Publication Unit of Technical Solutions Services Section. Uh, MIRDC is an attached agency of the Department of Science Technology. I'm going to present the uh, project previously developed by MIRDC, which was found, which was founded by uh, the OSTP card. Uh, a uh, funding agency of the uh, Department of Science and Technology. The, the project titled Dry Transplanter and Harvester Attachment for Hand Tractors. So, during the uh, previous or uh, conventional type of uh, planting season, uh, planting rice is never fun. Bending over the whole day, cannot even sit, cannot even stand. So in Tagalog, or uh, there's a song about this, magtani may dibiro, maghapong nakayuko, di naman makatayo, di naman makaupo. So, uh, uh, famous, uh, famous uh, paintings made by Fernando Amorsolo, entitled Planting Rice 1946. The concerns in uh, uh, developing this equipment is for the farmers to have higher pro productivity to finish transplanting as well as harvesting on a shor shorter period of time. Therefore, the bottom line is save all labor cost. So, as well as uh, fulfilling the uh, government Philippine mechanization law, which is the APMEC. So, the uh, land preparation, which is uh, uh, a corollary of planting and harvesting, so uh, it is still manual during the du during the old days of uh, planting and harvesting rice. So, in this, in this uh, project, which was conceptualized by none other than the DOST Secretary uh, Mario Montero, uh, it, it came to his mind the implements for hand tractors that uh, previously used by this Kulibli. So, he came into his mind to, to, to integrate a uh, a walk behind transplanter and harvester as well as additional implements for contractors or to be. As you can see on my slides. So the project has multiple uh, years or multi multi years type of project. So the project, the, the first stage of the project or first phase of the project entitled Design and Development of Hand Tractor Attachment, Harvester and Transplanter uh, last for two years. Then another phase of the project, the project two, piloting of this rice transplanter attachments, which is the RTA, and rice harvester attachment, which is the RHA, in selected rice growing regions. And in phase three, the pre commercialization service of rice transplanter attachment and rice harvester attachment for hand tractor, uh, which was uh, uh, subcontracted the feasibility study, the uh, business model, and the uh, viability of this project. In, uh, at the same time, the, the, the patent was, was applied. Uh, at the IPO and the, on the later part of this uh, presentation, you will see the, the IPO registration number uh, acquired uh, by this project. So, again, uh, in, uh, this project is jointly undertaken by MIRDC with funding from Picard as well as uh, with partnership of Department of Agriculture which is the PILMEP, Philippine uh, Agricultural machinery of uh, development of uh, of 
Department of Agriculture. Then, uh, as you can see in the slides, the, the, the rice transplanted attachment, the, this attachment is as a uh, number of rows of as four, four rows with a capacity of 1.6 hectares per day and a planting distance of 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters. So with a field efficiency of 80% and the planting depth is 3 to 5 centimeters. Uh, the power requirement for the diesel engine, you can use 7 or 9 horsepower diesel engine and the manpower requirement is 2, which is 1 operator and 1 helper. So how does it work? You can see on this uh, video, uh, when we uh, field test the, the, the machine at the uh, rice, rice granary of the Philippines, uh, which is the which is Nueva Ecija. So we tested this at Munoz Nueva Ecija with, with partnership of Filmic and also with support of Filonize. So uh, I will entertain questions after the slides uh, is over so that uh, we can minimize the interruptions. All your questions please reserve at the end of this uh, presentation of this webinar. So as you can see on these uh, small, small uh, video clips, you can see how transplanter works. So and you can see also on the on the on the uh, on the machines the 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 polygly, the hand tractor itself. So it is only this uh, additional attachment during planting season. So this polygly can be used for land preparation also before transplanting as well as during harvesting season you can replace this RTA by, a, by, by uh, RHA which is harvester attachment so during uh, harvesting season you can uh, replace this uh, uh, RTA attachment or implement to uh, RHA or harvesting implement later I will discuss also the rice harvesting uh, at uh, <coughs> machine. So then uh, you can see the video, you can proceed. And, and so what are the components? So the components are the uh, that consist this uh, rice transplanter are the picking arm sub assembly, the seeding tray, the floater sub assembly, the planter gear box, the standard speed reducer and the prime mover which is the 7 or 9 horsepower single cylinder diesel engine. What, what comes in your mind when you see this component? This component can be can be fabricated or machined or welded in a uh, uh, in a small small uh, fabrication shop which has uh, uh, an equipment of lake machine or they call it torno and uh, welding machine. So you can already manufacture this type of equipment and also as well as the uh, uh, publication machine which is the uh, used in bending uh, sheet metal. I mean, uh, uh, for flat or for circular type of uh, sheet metal bending. So the processes involved are the Cutting, then if it departs, it needs uh, machining, it will go to a torno or machine shop. If the parts needs welding or publication, so it will uh, go to the welding side of this uh, or publication side of this uh, machine component. No? Then uh, during the uh, design stage of this equipment, we measure the, uh, the, the, the central preferential speed of this machine in such a way that the planting distance of uh, rice, rice uh, seedling will be in any standard, uh, standard uh, acceptable standard. Also, the, the, the uh, rows and the seedling tray is standard in nature. Any 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 seeding preparation 
you can use, you can, it is heated on the uh, standard uh, plastic seedlings used in ASEAN country, no? in ASEAN country, especially in ASEAN country, whether it may be Thailand, Japan, Korea, China, Vietnam, uh, it will be heated on a seedling tray. We, we, we make it sure that this, this uh, seedling tray is standard in size or dimension. For the, for the familiarization of those uh, not yet uh, involved in the seedling preparation, we have prepared a, a procedure or methods on how to prepare a seedling preparation, seedlings needed for the, the rice transplanting machine, as you can see in the slides. These all are all MIRDC personnel. So seedling preparation for mechanized rice plant transplanting uh, is, uh, was given to us by none other than the PILMEC. So we would like to be to, to thank PILMEC on, uh, on uh, <coughs> lending us this uh, presentation regarding seedling preparation for mechanized rice transplanting. Then, <coughs> There are different methods of seedling preparation for mechanized rice transplanting. The, there is what they call mechanical seedling preparation, manual seedling preparation, using a manual seed sowing machine, and the modified double system under the manual seedling preparation. So you can see on the left side of the of the presentation using a manual seed sowing machine and the <clears throat> right side of the slides you can see the modified dapog system. So materials needed for one hectare 1,500 to 1,800 kilogram for one in 1.2 cubic meter garden soil, five to ten bags organic soil. 1 to 2 bags carbonized rice hull and 40 to 50 kg inbred seed salt. We also need sheep or yung pansana, frame or wood or steel, the knapsack sprayer. Uh, if, uh, I, uh, I know the, uh, uh, if you are a farmer, you are very familiar with this knapsack sprayer. And at least two units of shovel. Bala, wood nail, wood, steel saw, 400 plastic trays, and seed sewing machine. So seed preparation, uh, we, we now uh, discuss the procedure on manual seeding preparation. First, the seed preparation, as you can see this slide, it involves 8, eight to 10 hours soaking. Then, 10 to 12 hour incubation and finally uh, you, you need the 1 to 2 meter length of uh, seed sprout of rice or palai. Then number 2, make frame using a 2 by 2 wood or steel base on the dimension and number of the trays to be used. So you can see this on this slide. Using wood, 9 pieces 1 inch by 2 inch by 3.5 feet. Also, 6 pieces, 1 inch by 2 inch by 65 feet. Then, 10 pieces wooden pegs, then with a length of 10 centimeters long, uh, 10, 10 centimeters long inch. Tray dimension is 28 by 58 centimeters. 400 trays per hectare at maximum setting and adjusted of the mechanical rice transplanter. Press and seed the garden soil and mix it with organic burly soil and CRAs. Organic soil 5 to 10 bags per hectare. Garden soil 1,500 to 1,800 kilogram or 1 in 1.2 cubic meter. CRAs 1 to 2 bags. Then, number four procedures, put soil into the plastic trays, is like compact the soil. No, particle cell sizes less than 4 to 5 
millimeter. So you see that as 4 to 5 millimeter particle size. Pansala. Then, number five procedure, put the trace with soil to the frame. As you can see in slides. And then, followed by water, number six, water the soil using a knapsack sprayer. Number seven, put pre-germinated seed into the manual seed sowing machine. Adjust setting depending on the seed thickness or mass. 150 to 160 grams per tray. So, so pre-germinated seeds using the manual seed sowing machine. That's number eight procedure. And number nine, cover the seed with soil. After that, number ten, keep trays under the seed for two days. So there is incubation for two days. Then number eleven, transfer the trays to the prepared seed bed. So, no, if seedling trace will be placed in an open area, surround the trace with net to avoid damages that may caused by animals. So you can see in these two partition slides. So, seedbed preparation, you must have a field plant. No? So, number one, choose a field plant to accommodate 1.5 by 63 meter seedbed with 0.3 meters space around the between beds. Number two, prepare the seed bed following the usual land preparation, flowing once, twice harrowing, and leveling. Then number three, prepare seed bed three to five centimeters high at least two days before seed sowing. See the slides. Should have, uh, no, it should have a good source of water. It, it must have a good drainage system and it must have a provision of pot box. Then, city nursery, air, and management. Maintain the water level can be equal or higher than the seed bed until the spring of the first leaf. A spring of two or three leaves water level should be lower than the seed bed and should be drained after 10 minutes. Four to five days before transplanting, water level should be half of the seed bed height. Then, one day before the stage of transplanting, drain the water 14 to 19 days old. Seedling should be transplanted using a mechanical rice transplanter. Then, seedling transport and holding. Seedlings on plastic trays. Remove the seedling in the tray using a flat remover. Pull and roll the seedlings from the plastic trays. Then, hold or transfer, transport the seedlings. No. It is not recommended to use the plastic trays in holding the rolled seedling, as you can see on these slides. Then, seedlings on plastic trays ready for transplanting. So, you must have a pangkarga, um, trailer, trailer of this tray to be, to be transported on the uh, site to be transplanted. To be, to be <coughs> transplanted using rice transplant. Then uh, the project three, the uh, how how this project uh, was uh, <coughs> was uh, economically uh, viable and uh, as well as uh, a feasibility study was subcontracted to the. Our consultant or partners, which is the Synergy in Makati. No? So they do market research, no? so they do the uh, business modeling and the uh, feasibility study as well as the uh, marketing, marketing uh, model or uh, strategy of this, this, this project developed by MIRDC, a granted aid uh, uh, funded project through uh, Peter DOSD no? with partnership again with Filmec of the uh, Department of Agriculture. Then the competitive advantage of RTA, you can see the uh, comparison with Kubota of Japan, Yanmar of Japan, Mahindra of Japan, India, and Kubota also another model, uh, NSP 16C of Japan. No? 
So the criteria is the type, number of planting rows, capacity, 8 hours per day, the planting distance, the heat space, the field efficiency, the planting depth, the fuel efficiency, the power requirement, the non-power requirement, the weight, and the price. No? So, our subcontractor who made this feasibility study made a survey to, uh, of this imported model used by our partners. And uh, on our side, the, the local, uh, locally developed price transplanter attacks, we, 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 we provide the data that, uh, we, that we acquired during the testing of this machine. We provided the synergy so that uh, competitive comparison of, of, of our locally developed uh, rice cuts planter attacks uh, uh, colleague as compared to the uh, dedicated. No? So as you can see, Kubota, Yanmar, Mahindra are all dedicated. No? So it it say may ideal time. In a may pagka, pagka harvesting season, you need another machine for harvesting while the RTA just pull out the uh, transplanter, replace it with harvester attacks, which is also uh, pitted to the Kulig League or hand tractor, commonly called Kulig League and, uh, or hand tractor. So uh, the, that, that is the number one advantage. Plus, uh, the, the, if the parts is uh, locally made, um, you no need to, to no need to to, to, to order it the the, the 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 component no if uh, the component is broken of this imported that is another problem when you uh, when you when you purchase an imported rice transplanter uh, in addition to the disadvantage of they are dedicated no the ideal time uh, in economy it makes sense that uh, uh, the machine should be should be as uh, should be useful. Uh, the number of useful hours is 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 too much as compared to the 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 ideal. Na pag tag 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 na tag tag harvest o tag tag ani tag ani na na ano na tetenga na tetenga yung machines as compared to our RTA. Uh, in addition, um, I, uh, in promoting these uh, machines, there, there is already a uh, technology license of this uh, uh, an interested private company uh, 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 acquired this uh, or uh, our in MIRDC, so there, there, there is a department on our, our section, or division in our uh, company, MIRDC, who's, who's handling of this uh, technology licensing of the MIRDC developed technology. So again, you can see on the chart the comparison of data, so you, you can see that uh, our RTA does make it sense, no? make sense. So then, yeah, so one more operator, one helper, then kilograms, then the price is competitive, no? So the price is 54 to 100, uh, 55,000, no? So there is a range, no? From 54,000 to 155. Maybe, uh, why? Why 54 to 155? Uh, you're wondering that uh, the price range, maybe, if you don't have the Kuligli, uh, you must pay at least 155. If you don't have the Kuligli, so you can only uh, you can only uh, purchase it at as low as 54,000 if you have already the hand tractor Kuligli. But uh, if you don't have it, uh, it will go to uh, 155,000 plus the cost of the Kuligli. Then what is harvesting? Let's now go to harvesting. No? So harvesting is tanani, no? After musyang tinanim, siyempre, uh, lalaki yan, as the nature of plants, no? So, 
pinalagaan mo yan. Uh, so, kung ano yung itinanim mo, may ahanihin ka. So, let's go now to the uh, rice, rice Harvester Attachment or RHA. No? So, the concept is the same. Uh, it is, uh, ano, no? Uh, it can be uh, can be attached and detached to a cooling lid, no? so that is the uh, main concept. No? So, pag tagani na at ang galin ko na si si transplanter, which is uh, the, the the same as implement, tatanggalin ko lang siya, ipapalit ko ulit si si harvesting attachment, no? si harvester. If you will, ulit din pa rin yung pinaka pinaka frame niya, yung pinaka equipment niya, kinakabit pa rin siya sa kuliglig. Kung ano yung kuliglig na ginamit mo, o contractor na ginamit mo dun sa transplanting, yun din ang gagamitin natin sa harvesting. No? So, kung ano rin yung ginamit mo na kuliglig na pag, pag, pag bubungkal ng lupa, ng preparation, tilling, sowing, leveling, yun din ang gagamitin. No? si isa lang ang ano, isa lang yung kulibli pero dumami yung attachment niya because of this developed project. So post-production system, there are this uh, simple procedure, cutting, then uh, field drying, yung binibilag sa araw, nakikita natin sa daan, sa bandang Muebesia, so the howling, stacking piling, then uh, dressing, no? So, yung ano nito, yung harvesting natin, may ano siya, may kasama na siyang, hindi lang cutting, may kasama na siyang pressing, no? So, pag tinres niya, hinihiwalay niya yung stocks dun sa palay. So, may sako yung ano, may lalagyan na sako yung equipment, yun, uh, pwede siyang, uh, yun, dahil dun sa makina, uh, dun sa may sako, puro palay na ang nalalagay doon, no? automatically. Kasi may mga mechanical component kami dinesign doon na uh, doon pupunta yung palay, umihiwala yung stocks. No? Meron pa, katanong nyo kung may, kung may tibasa yung lupa o may tubig, may nilalagay kami ano, uh, na hindi siya, hindi siya mababalahaw o magsising doon sa malambot na lupa. No? May nilagay kami ng machines doon na uh, simple cut and weld no? na para siyang ano, para siyang ano, uh, ski no? na pag nilagay mo sa ano, hindi, hindi siya hindi papalitan namin yung gulo, uh, guide siya no? andun yung uh, field, uh, field wheel no? na uh, sinasabi namin, plus yun para hindi siya mabalahaw o magsink sa lupa yung masin kung malambot o may tubig pa yung lupa during harvesting. So harvesting is the process of collecting the mature rice crop from the field. So there's what is called cutting, cutting the panicle central, only moving the cut crop to the dressing location, dressing, separating the body grain from the rest of the crop. <coughs> As you can see, uh, may yung evolution ng pag-develop ng masin, dati, kinakat lang, iba pa yung tracing, no? yung nakat na palay, ipunin, tapos isasalang sa isang makina ulit na tracing. Pero dito, combined harvester na siya. Kinat na niya, yung kinat niya, dahil may mga nilagay kami yung conveyor, iaakyat niya yung kinat niya, dun sa tracing, tapos yung tracing, hihiwalay niya yung, yung, uh, sana-sana ng palay, dun sa mismong palay seeds, no? So, dati magkahiwala yun. So, as technology develop, pinag-combine yung cutting and pressing. So, separating the body grain from the rest of the cut crop. Cleaning, removing immature, unfilled, and non-grain materials. Then, field drying. No? May sibang bansa, magamit ng mga makina. So, sa atin, since uh, tropical country tayo, no? except huwag lang tagula, pag uh, during the dry season, binibilad sa araw bago mo ipamil. Hindi pwedeng pagka, ano mo, minimil na. Kung magdadal pa rin siya sa drying, 
May corresponding moisture yata para bago 14% during harvesting, 14% para, para sa mili. Then stacking and filing, so dapat may bodega ka na pag-store ng, ng pala ay bago mo siya i-ano sa rice milling, no? yung mga rice milling naman na, na, na business uh, yung pala ay na-harvest mo, mako-convert na ng bigas. Then, so this, this uh, slides is uh, uh, courtesy of uh, International Rice Research Institute. Uh, here is the rice harvester attachment, the, uh, the salient features. The salient features, the, what do you need to learn, the, I need to know is the capacity. What is the capacity in hectares per day? The machine, the rice harvester attachment, has a capacity of 0.5 hectares per day. With a working width, yung lapad ng pag-ani niya, 0.8 meter. So, may loss ratio siya 3 to 0.5 percent. Impurity ratio of 6 percent. And a power requirement of 9 horsepower diesel engine. One power requirement is one operator and one helper. Yung less loss ratio, kami rin po yung ano, with the guidance of PILMEC, no? So, kung paano kinuha yung 3.5% and impurity ratio of 6%. So, binigang namin, binigang namin yung nalaglag, tapos yung mga broken grades, binigang namin, binigang namin, kung hindi ba naduduro during the tracing. Then, how does it work? So, as you can see, no? may simple yung lalo siya, may clips. Pinapload na yata ng filmic. Nag-upload yata yung filmic sa kanila sa YouTube. Yun, yung partnership yung filmic yan. Nakikita nyo yung, ano, yung uh, how, how, uh, how does uh, this uh, rice harvester attachment work, no? So, yan, parang YouTube. No? Yan. Yan po, may nag-upload na may inalawag na tayo ng director natin at hangin na i-upload sa YouTube. So, I don't know. So, you can uh, you can uh, you can contact our uh, TDD, no? ITPS TDD Naro TD Fusion Division regarding the uh, gusto nyo yung pa-upload yung video nito may compilation kami. Kasi yung dito uh, as, your, as your video clips na no? is only in seconds, not in minutes. Kung gusto nyo yung makabakaba, uh, siguro you can request to our office. Then, what are the components? Yan, as usual, no? since this is a mechanical machine, no? ano yung pyesa? Components is pyesa. No? Kaya bang gawin dito? Kaya, no? So, inaral din namin yung manufacturability niya. No? Since yung, ano, yung engine, may ginawa na rin yung MIRDC no? and uh, hindi pa yung ka-commercial. So, uh, for the meantime, bili ka muna ng made in India, uh, made in Japan or made in Vietnam, kubito. So, nakasuprado may Vietnam na kubota o yan mark no? engine. And the rest is, yan, locally available na yung gulo, speed niya, controller, no? gumamit kami ng uh, controller na ginagamit sa bisikleta para yung speed niya makontrol namin plus yung, uh, yung grip na gano'n yung ginagamit din sa bisikleta tapos yung uh, makikita ka dyan na yung chain, chain and sprocket yung, yung ating, ano, ating tool Ah, yeah. Pwede naman bilhin sa kubota. Nagbebenta sila ng mga cutting tool. Para sobrado yung cutting nyo. So, pwede kayong bumili doon ng nung, yung ano lang, cutting blade. No? Then the rest, yeah, uh, available na. Easy to, easy to, easy to purchase. No? Uh, parang naka-bookshelf na sa, sa, mga, ano, sa mga ordinary hardware sa Philippines. No? Yung mga belt, yeah, mga auto supply, pwede. Mga puli yan, sa mga hardware, yung mga puli. Then, uh, kadena o chain, meron din. Ano pa, yung bottle na ginamit, 
yellow, round bar, mayroong nabibili dito dyan, then, yan, uh, a simple machine siya, no? with the milling machine and simple milling machine and simple na pangtorno, you can develop a welding machine and uh, yun nga, yung pagkat o pangbend na uh, plate cut bend na uh, uh, plate bender, marami na sa Pinas ng plate bender, no? Uh, may nakita na ako manually, ang dami dyan sa panda, sa pulakan may nakita ako ng mga plate bender, no? na manual, yeah, hindi ko magamit ng, ng, ng uh, hindi ko magamit ng kuryente yung sa MIRDC kasi, siyempre, kaya mataas yung ano, hindi kuryente yung mga ginamit namin plate vendor ay yung, <coughs> yung mga ginamit namin, minsan pag nagbabadali kami yung mga CNC ginagamit namin pero conventional uh, machines siya, conventional uh, machines na ginagamit sa, sa pang-tono sa kasa, pang-bill, uh, kaya-kaya gawin, no? So, it so happened na medyo ano yung amin. Pagka uh, nagpamadali kami, minsan sa CNC ginagawa. Which is mahal lang ng pagka CNC. So, no need na may, na may CNC kayo. So, <clears throat> then, uh, kung may simpleng roar bender din kayo na manual, alam ko, meron dyan. Nakita ko natin yung pag-isayas. Para dun sa dome niyang gano'n. May dome kasi siya eh, yung sa uh, uh, harvester, yung sa taas, yung sa tracing side niya. The rest is cut and weld. No? So simple, kahit na silded metal art welding na, uh, kaya-kaya nang uh, i-buwin yung machine. No? So hindi na tayo yung problema na imported parts, gagamit ka pa ng dollar account para lang makabili, tapos order ka pa sa abroad. Itong locally manufactured na to, nakas naka ano na naka ready ready to 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 manufacture and ready to to purchase at an ordinary hardware in our country no? so pwede siya mga berry hindi ito yan so, wala kami ginawa na hindi siya mahirap siya na rin no yung duga tulad niyan pag nasira na walang support yung uh, imported machines tapos napansin namin pag yung imported machines pag may binili kang pyesa na dahil uh, profit is in their mind business may pag may binili ka medyo critical na pyesa alos kasing presyo na ninyo yung buong masin napansin namin yun no? yun yung uh, ano nila yung medyo disadvantage pag may binili ka isang critical na pyesa alos binili mo na yung buong masin yung presyo ng critical materials na yun ganun ka expensive no? pag imported yung 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 ginagamit mo. Yan, we proven na yan. Na, ano na namin na uh, exposed kami sa mga R&D. Pag binili mo yung imported yung mga mga ano namin, pag uh, inano namin, pag uh, reverse engineering namin, pag yung pyesa, yung critical na pyesa ng yung mas imported na na device na yan, mas hindi. Pag in-order mo abroad, alos kasi presyo na niya yung buong machine. Ganun sila kawais sa sa no, sa business no so uh, so as you can see no uh, advantage us yung doon natin sa rin natin no? nakakatulong pa tayo sa economy no? flow so pag may bumibili uh, na nag-degenerate ka pa ng employment nakakasave ka pa ng dollar reserve ng country ng Pilipinas no? instead na palalabas yung ano bibili ka pa ng dollar para lang mabili mo yung pyesa. Then, yan, as you can see, the hand tractor. So, common yun. Yung machine na 9 horsepower, yun din yun, no? Kung ano yung ginamit mo dun sa kubibli, sa land preparation, o transplanting, yun din yung gagamitin, no? So, hindi na gagalawin yung 9 or 7 horsepower. Pero mas maganda para, ano, i-overpower mo na, no? 9 horsepower is the idea, no? Kung ako yung may opinion, ito, 9 horsepower ang prepared ko para sa transplanting as well as sa harvesting. Doon, may hand tractor, yung tinatawag na pickup reel assembly. As you can see on the video, may ikot-ikot yan pang kawi yung palay, no? Pag-ready to harvest, habang hina-harvest. Then, yung cutter bar, yung mga ganun, uh, slidey yung cutter niya. 
So, readily available yan sa Myanmar, Bogota, na dealer sa Pilipinas. Kung kayo naman, kayo yung magtimpla ng tamang timpla ng bakal, no? then, pa-arden uh, uh, nyo, then, kaya yung gawin. So, kaya lang, uh, para makasigurado na, proven na kasi itong blade na to, kami rin, gumamit kami yung blade mo, kubota. No? So, bumili kami sa kubota. So, yan. Child of the two. So, crop over simply, yun yung hahawi sa palay. No? So, as you can see, hahawi niya yung palay, papasok. Tapos may butas doon, so may conveyor doon, yung nakat niya, na narip niya, o nakat niya, aakyat doon. Pupunta dito sa dito, dito sa treasure. No? Yung treasure, ihiwalay niya yung stocks stocks sa palay. So, tapos, may shaker siya, vibrator, inaalog-alog nung gano'n. So, para mahiwalay lalo yung palay na bumaba dun sa pinakaibaba. So, may blower siya, yung maliliit na stocks ng palay, binoblow niya palabas. Yun. Uh, during our testing, binilang namin kung yung binoblow niya ba may kasamang palay. O yung tinetres niya ba, drog-drog. Yun. Inano rin namin yun. So, nag-arrive kami dun sa loss ratio and purity ratio. So, yung dinahanan nung, nung harvester, para kami, ano, para kami, uh, <laughs> may dala kami ng flashlight, tsaka tinignan namin kung may nahuhulong na palay during the harvesting habang in-operate namin, habang nag-harvest kami. May tinatapong ba? Kasi kasama sa APCRC nung masinyo. So, yan. Yung crop conveyor assembly, It's just a pressing after pre-cutting, uh, conveying, pressing, and uh, a separate, separation of stocks uh, using the uh, vibrator and another, uh, uh, another refinement is may blower siya para hiwalay yung maliliit na stocks na sumama dun sa sheep. May sheep siya, no? Kasi may sasama pa rin yung maliliit na, na, na stocks ng palay. Yun, yun yung uh, purpose ng blower. Yung shaker, iwalay niya, no? uh, pagbabay niya. Uh, pagka nagsasala ka ng, ng lupa para sa pang-semento, no? yun, parang uh, gano'n. Yun yung principle nun. No? So, malalaglag lang dun sa butas na size ng palay. Then after that, may ano kami shaker, then may, may another over kami na maliit para para paakyatin yung palay, no? I-push niya dito sa may, ano, sa gilid, may maliit na conveyor doon, tapos maglalagay kami ng sako dito, doon, aakyat ulit, palay na. Then after that, itignan namin yung palay, kung may nasasama nga bang stock, so, i-ano namin ulit, matrabaho siya, para lang na mag-come up sa ng uh, magandang masina at maganda yung efficiency. Hindi yung, uh, ano, kaya umabot ng, four to five years so, to, to develop or six years to develop these machines, no? So, maraming field testing nangyari, may mga laboratory nga, may binibilang namin yung crack with the, with the support of Filmec, our, our partner, no? Our partner in developing this machine. Yung, nasa Filmec kami, sinecheck namin lahat, no? Kung ano ba yung, ano, kung, kung may maraming crack, may babaguhin kami. Kung maraming stocks na 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 sa sala, na sa sama, babaguhin din namin, no? So, at last nung ano, na ipagmalaki namin na yung na-develop namin, uh, competitive siya with other harvesting. And novel siya, unique. Ibig sabihin, eh, uh, pwede siyang tanggalin at i-commit sa contractor, sa kuniklik, no? Hindi katulad nga nung sinasabi kong dedicated, pag tagtanin, itong dedicated na harvester nung imported, uh, idle siya, nakatega siya. So, parang yung, ano niya, yung useful niya, medyo nabawasan. So, sa economy, hindi maganda yung natitega yung isang masin. No? Dapat kumakandar pala niya. So, as compared naman, mahal masyado yung malaking tinatawag na halimaw. No? Ito pang pang ano lang, 
ang uh, yun na, mga small small scale farmers no mga rice farmers lalo lalo na yung mga beneficiary no agrarian reform beneficiaries no? so yun eh tinutulungan nga natin yung ma mahihirap hindi yung tinutulungan natin yung mayaman na lalo ng mayaman so at dito uh, at an affordable price you can help kung 5 to 10 hectares lang ang ano mo ang pag-aari mo pwede ka na no? so kung kung malaki naman you can consolidate this machine in a kung may cooperative kayo more than kayo ng mga limang ganito no? so kung ano tapos inihiram na lang sa, sa cooperative nyo depende sa sa arrangement nyo so pwede kong bumili eh ito kayo kung malaki yung ano may mga 10 or 15 or 10 to 20 hectares so irarent niya sa co-op nyo na kung di may ano sa ko mas maganda ganun din yung sa transplanter so then yan yung pressure then shaking screen yan ang sinasabi ko may shaking screen siya yung vibrator then yung blower yung blow niya then yung grain cover then grain conveyor send me as you can see in the previous slides we have the competitive advantage of RTA um, on this slide naman the competitive advantage of RHA no? so ito hindi namin ano hindi kami biased po dito no? so inano namin um, uh, nag hire kami ng third party to, 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 to see that uh, this machine is uh, viable as well as ano competitive siya as compared to imported ones. No? So, nag-survey sila sa uh, around the Philippines from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So, may criteria tayo, yung type dimension, yung traction, yung cutting weight, ayun. yung traction, yung, yung gulog. No? So, yung sa atin, rubber wheel or cage wheel. No? Yung sa kanil nila, masyadong high-tech na parang pang-tanke. No? Tinatawag na triangular track o roller type na no? roller parang nakakita ka na ng tangki ng ang 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 sundalo militar yun yung mga style na mas mas magastos yun no? yung sa atin simple rubber wheel lang yung cage wheel so cutting wheel yan yeah, medyo maliit yun sa atin compact no? yung sa mga imported uh, mahalalapat no? mahalalapat yung yung wheel nila then capacity, yun, 0.5 hectares per day, as you can see in the silent pictures. Yun, yung iba, 0.42 lang, no? Hectares per day, yung riding type. Riding type pa sila, yun sa atin, walk behind, no? So, pag riding type, medyo malaki yung, malaki yung horsepower na kailangan mo. Kasi pati yung weight ng tao, no? Pati yung weight ng tao, uh, kinoconsider mo kasi yung bigat ng tao, uh, magko-consider din na, na kailangan mo ng malaking 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 makina o malaking engine just to 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 ano no uh, kayanin niya yung bigat ng tao bigat ng makina plus yung galaw ng makina then ah uh, yun ah sabi yun uh, nine, nine horsepower i prefer nine horsepower the power one the other one is 12 12 and 70 so mataas no so sa prinsipyo nung machines, the more na mataas yung horsepower mo, the more na mataas kumonsume mo yan, kahit diesel pa yan. No? So, kahit na ano ako, let's say, uh, for, for example, this uh, yeah, gasoline engine ako na uh, 1 horsepower na ako, pero yung diesel mo naman is 20 horsepower, ganun din yung gastos niya kasi uh, nagmumubog siya ng, ano, ng diesel. No? So, the more. No? So, advantage na yung RTA na develop ng, ng natin sa atin sa atin develop ng MRTC no? develop namin 9 lang yung kalaban o yung kakompetensya na imported 12, 12, and 70 then same o, sa atin kailangan lang ng isang helper so mas maganda talaga lalo na pag mainit no? kailangan may alternate para kasi yan, mas maganda lang may alternate Doon sa isa, one operator, one operator, pero dedicated yan. Pag tag-tanim, saka tag, 
nag-prepare ng lupa, nagbungkal, hindi mo na magagamit yan. So, then, yung isa, tatlo, isang driver, dalawang bagger, yung malaki na tinatawag na uh, halimaw suguro. Yan, halimaw. Yan, yung 70 years power. So, so uh, magmumumog lang ano yan, diesel. No? So, pag mechanized ka, inaan mo rin kung ano ba yung uh, kung dekoriente yan, ano ba yung uh, kilowatt, kilowatt ano niya, consumption, kilowatt per hour consumption nung, nung masin. No? Dito naman, kung pag uh, fuel siya, ilang, ilang liters per, per hour, no? per hectares ang kailangan niya. So, kung hectare na, no, ah, ito, ano, sa so, paano, ganito yung fuel consumption niya. No? So, uh, alam ko, ano, i ano, may, may dun sa brochure namin na nakalagay yata yung fuel consumption ko. No? Hindi lang binanggit dun sa dito. So, pero as you can see the data, uh, maliit yung horsepower ng engine namin, maliit din ang consumption ng fuel. Plus, yung efficiency niya na 0.5 hectares per day. Then the weight, yan. So, 300 kilogram lang yung sa uh, MIRDC, yung sa iba, may 700, may 300, yung isa, 3,000, yung kalimaw, 3,000. Uh, how can you compare the 3,000? For every 1,000, there's one ton. So, three tons yun. Yung mga kinang yun, no? So, kung nasira yun, paano mo hahatakin yun? Aarkin na ka pa ng, ng, ano, ng malaking ano para lang mabuhat mo yung 3 tons pag nasiraan ka, no? Ito, kaya ni Tula, no? Ng tako, yung 300 kilograms. So, advantage na naman, yung uh, mababang biga, mababang biga, no? magaan. Then, then the uh, last criteria is the, uh, yan, yeah, so 100,000 RHA, plus 100,000, 200,000 RHA plus 100,000 ang tractor. Yung sa isa, 2 million na. No? Yung sa isa, 400,000. Dito, makakabili ka na ng 200 RHA plus 100 hand tractor. Dito sa kabila, 2 million and 400,000. So, the price is, yan. Yeah. Ayan. Yeah. Plus yung price. Ayun. 105 to 105 to, to 267,000 no? 105,000 yung ano yung nag-range siya from 105,000 to 267,000 yung rice harvester tax tax ng uh, dinevelop namin no? mas mahal siya dun sa RTE kasi mas marami siyang uh, component. No? Gluin mo, magkatat na siya, magpukonbihin pa siya, magtitress pa siya, magsesegregate pa siya ng sanga, ng stocks, ng palay. No? Tapos sinalagay niya pa sa sako. Automatically, ipitin lang namin yung sako, so, automatically pumapasok sa sako yung palay. So, 105,000 to 267,000. No? Yun yung price range na binigay na ng nanan. Uh, wala pong bias to. Binigay nung, uh, nung synergy na nag-subcontract sa feasibility study itong, itong ginawa namin, na-develop namin yung masin. No? And lastly, no, yan, yung uh, attachment niya, no? yan, uh, UM model, application number, utility model. No? So, hindi po siya kopya. No? Patented po siya, registered ng IPO Philippines. No? Kaya ngayon po yung kaming aggressive kasi hindi po kasi siya pwedeng, pwedeng i-promote or i-advertise pag wala pa yung patent. No? So we, 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 we violate the principle of uh, patent application. Pagka pin-promote na namin na wala pa yung patent na uh, registered number. No? Chider invention or utility model. No? So yeah. May utility registration number na po siya. So, yan. Nagka-award po kami yung mga uh, group nito sa so, so, USD. May konting uh, <laughs> pag 
open door na. Then system of assembling upon binary vessel vessel attachment under application pa po, no? Na yung isa pending. Pero alam ko, alam ko, nakinis na. Hindi <laughs> ko alam. So, uh, pending pa po yung harvester, no? Na una po kasi na-apply yung contractor. Yung harvester, kasi po, na-concentrate muna kami sa contractor bago kami lumipat sa harvester. Hindi po namin sabay na ginawa. No? Nakapokus muna kami sa contractor na sa transplanter bago kami lumipat sa harvester. Kaya po, yung uh, application niya, nakapending pa po sa IPO Philippines kung UM o invention. So, yung application niya, invention, so, sana, no? invention siya as compared to transplanter which is utility model. Then, then last yung mga yan yung uh, project team no MIRDC research team yan natin po sa harap ako no o po yung B no uh, pero yung project leader yun po si engineer Domingo pero pagdating sa field testing uh, ako po yung lead engineer during the, the, the field testing of this machine so uh, saka yung during the, the development of this machine no? yung uh, senior staff uh, na makala dito sa so, then type yung testing no? kasi pag nabulilya so yan kailangan may kasamang engineer kasi yung engineer sa quick may mananago no? so uh, yun uh, may accountable <laughs> pag uh, doing testing masigira yan or what may ano you know, so, yung engine or what uh, so yun halos so, po nung dinevelop yun halos I am present no kahit like nung uh, data gathering pa namin nung kuligli nagkaroon kami na uh, actual kami ng kuligli nung bokering no? and uh, before uh, venturing on this development of uh, transplanter in our best and uh, ngayon halos uh, wala akong absent magkakalang ko na field testing itong dalawang akin ng ito no? so ngayon doon ang gastos mag-field uh, testing talaga no? kasama yun nagkilala na naman ng power no? so dapat may budget uh, buti na lang may family agency at uh, grant in aid yun so balik-balik po kami sa uh, Munoz New Basin yan no? the rice granary rice granary region of the Philippines New Basin no? kung sa bakulod po kahit saan makatingin may 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 tubo na uh, may base here po left, right, palayan no? tapos normal na po yung bleeding at marami po uh, marulong na dun sa paggawa ng, ng rice seedlings no? so may gumagamit na rin kasi sila ng, ng transplanter po na uh, yan um, siguro important pa pero yung bleeding Thank you po. Sana may uh, na tulog kayo, natutunan. Any inquiries, uh, you can contact us no? so, uh, our website and uh, call the, uh, uh, the uh, corresponding person. No? Thank you very much, Sir Emir, for your very clear presentation about rice uh, transplanter attachment and rice harvester attachment. Yes. So we learned a lot from Sir Emir's presentation. Now to enlighten more our fabricator, fabricators, I'll give you a very brief information on the MIRDC services in supporting the technology transfer of the rice transplanter attachment and rice harvester attachment. So as explained by uh, Sir Emer, uh, relative to the fabrication of the RTA and RHA, we employ uh, metal working processes like machining, welding, and heat treatment. 
Sa machining, gumagamit tayo ng conventional lathe machine at conventional uh, milling machine. At gumagamit din tayo ng hydraulic shear cutter, flat and roller bending or flat bender, which are manually operated. But at uh, MIRDC, we have motorized flat bender machine. The center established the die and mold solution center. In this facility, other than conventional machines, we also have sophisticated equipment uh, like uh, when I will be sharing this. Uh, a minute, please. Okay. Tapos next. Sana yung shear. Hindi, naka-ready. Ano ba siyang natanak? Ang cup-ready. Ito na ito. Ito na ito. Ano ka? Nakakil. Yan. O di, minimize mo mo. Hindi pa nakamit. Hindi, 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 hindi. Tapos, bili ka dito sa zoom. Mag-screen share ka. Bili ka dyan. Yan. Hindi, hindi. Saka yun. Hindi, balik ka na lang dito. Screen siya. Nakaredy yung PowerPoint mo. Saan ka na ready na? Hindi, dapat dito siya mga ano. Okay. Maximize Kasi di ba naka-ready na siya? Ayan. Ayan na di ba? Ayan na makikita mo dapat. Kapag ka nag... Okay, sige. Screen, screen share. Share screen. Ayan. So, di ba? So, ayan po. Ayan. The Dye and Mold Solution Center, and dito po yung uh, mga sophisticated equipment like uh, the one you are nakikita nyo dyan sa baba. Ayan po sila. Now, uh, sa heat treatment naman, we heat treat, example, yung mga blade ng uh, rice harvester attachment yung nagkakat ng stock ng palay, katulad ng next pain is MR. Basically, we use the chamber furnace, then uh, quench natin ito to harden para ma-increase yung toughness of the blade at hindi ito madaling maputpod. Tignan natin yung, uh, ayan, wait. 
ayan yung uh, uh, heat treatment facility. Uh, other than these uh, furnaces, the center was able to add facilities such as the vacuum gas quench heat treatment. Dito yun sa aming surface engineering facility that consists of uh, vacuum heat treatment at uh, anodizing. Ayan. For metal finishing. Kaya pwede rin isa lang sa vacuum gas quench heat treatment yung cutter blade ng rice harvester. Kaya lang po uh, may kamahalan pero quality naman. Ayan. Now, uh, here we heat treat the metal in a high temperature vacuum furnace. Of course, with the appropriate temperature to achieve the desired properties. Tapos, uh, the next treatment is gas quenching. This involves the cooling of the steel parts quickly para hindi ito maiwasan yung distortion. Sample of the anodized products. Ayan. Window grills, jewelry, mga kaldero, something for uh, aerospace, saka yung casings sa mga cellphones natin. So, in welding facility, ayan po yan, we, uh, we employ yung ismaw. Okay, sandali. Ismaw at saka yung ano. Oh, what's that? Di, uh, tinatawag din tong stick kasi dahil doon sa uh, ginagamit nilang welding rugs na parang stick. Dito pala sa anodizing, uh, kung uh, i uh, ko compare natin doon sa pagpipintura o kaya yung pagtutubog ng mga jewelry, isa nababakbak ito kaya nagpi-fade. Pero sa anodizing po, ay uh, party na ng metal yon Kaya hindi sana i-scratch. Uh, durable siya. Ayan. And here's the good news. Do you know that MIRDC offers discounts to all licensed fabricators? Ang MIRDC po na-create ng... Uh, uh, policy number 013 regarding guidelines on the approval of discount rates on the use of MIRDC facilities and services para matu matulungan yung mga licensee and uh, the spin-off firms of the OST uh, MIRDC developed technologies to reduce the cost of its commercialization. Kasi po, uh, um, Nagkaroon na ng mga field testing, kaya nami-minimize yung uh, cost nito. So, uh, ayan po. These are the uh, some of the facilities of the MIRDC in supporting the technology transfer of the RTA and RHA. You can use these facilities. Now, to further, uh, to, to have us further information and to satisfy your queries about the technologies, we will now open the Q&A portion. I would like to introduce to you the members of the advisory panel. We have Ms. Marie Gurley Emilio, the Chief of the Technology Advisory and Business Development Section and uh, also the technology licensing officer. And uh, we have uh, engineer Edelbert M. De La, Pe De La Peña, the head of uh, the technical services solution se section. And uh, also engineer Emerito B. Banal, the representative of the project team. 
sa development ng rice transplanter attachment at uh, rice harvester attachment. So uh, I'm now uh, giving the floor to Ms. Uh, jo. Thank you very much, um, Marlene. So the floor is now open for the... for the question and answer portion. So uh, from Mr. Hovertson Damo, is there any distributor in a specific region to avail the machines? Example, where can we avail such machine in Ilocos region? Ma'am girl, sige po. Uh, uh, hello, uh, magandang umaga po. Uh, so the actually the, the one of the purpose of uh, this uh, webinar is also to to offer or entice uh, uh, fabricators to license for the technology. Right now po sa for the harvester uh, eh, meron po kaming dalawang licenses dito po sa uh, Metro Manila and one po in Bataan. So sa ngayon po, uh, they are just uh, starting with the fabrication process. Kaya lang po medyo naabutan po tayo ng pandemic. So medyo na, na, na suspend lang po yung kanilang uh, uh, fabrication. But uh, kung interested po kayo, we can... Uh, provide you po the list of the fabricators and you can ask po, uh, quotations from them kasi mas maganda po na alam din nila na meron po talagang market po doon sa areas po ninyo. Uh, para po kay Mr. Jobertson Damo. So I hope that answers your question po sir. So, ibig sabihin, sir, pakiantay na lang po kung yung pagdating po ng fabricator sa area nyo. Kasi ngayon po nasa pandemic po tayo ngayon. Probably next year po magkakaroon na po dyan sa Ilocos region. Okay, thank you, Miss Gurdy. May question po dito uh, to the panel. Do you have an identified market for the RTA and RHA? If ever, pwede po ba mag-consult ang fabricator sa MIRDC regarding the market of the RTA and RHA? So, sino po ang pwede ma Yes, Ma'am Gurley. Uh, ako ulit. Ano. Sige po. So, uh, thank you for the question. No? So, regarding po sa market, uh, as mentioned po ni Emmer, uh, Engineer Banal kanina, uh, we conducted a study on uh, the market together with... Uh, a marketing uh, consultant. So during one of the projects, we hired po. And uh, uh, sa, sa study po nila, uh, they identified na around 50 to 60,000 na interested po na farmers to avail. Uh, ngayon, if uh, you are going to be a licensee of the technology, we can share po sa inyo or we can provide po sa inyo yung data na yun. Um, Pero uh, my, uh, I would just like to clarify na yung study po kasi is, uh, was done during the implementation of the project and uh, limited lang po yung na-survey nila. But, but uh, bali yung mga areas lang po na na-survey uh, is Nueva Ecija, uh, Nueva Ecija, yung uh, sa Iloilo and uh, Bukidnon and uh, Kalimutan ko yung isa. May, mayroon po sa Southern Luzon. So, bali, apat na areas po yung na-survey. And from that survey po, nagkaroon po ng, uh, mayroon pong lumabas na study ng market. So, if uh, ever po na interested po kayo sa technology, we can uh, show you po yung data po na na-collect na, na po namin. Okay. Ano, Miss Gurley, tatawagan po kayo or ibibigay niyo na lang po yung email address ninyo? Ah, okay. So, uh, yung, uh, yung process po kasi natin on technology transfer is that 
uh, magkakaroon po tayo muna ng uh, letter of intent or sa, uh, in a way, parang request po sa inyo na interested po kayo dun sa technologies. And then, we can discuss from there. So, yung, pwede po kayo mag-email sa amin sa mirdc at mirdc.gov.ph and uh, yung request po ninyo ay makakarating din po yun sa amin. Okay, thank you. So, thank you. Ulitin ko lang po yung email address, mirdc.mirdc at bost.gov.ph. Tama po ba? Ay, mali. mirdc at mirdc.dost.gov.ph. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Gurley. Uh, meron ding uh, message dito from Miss Engineer Mariposke na... Maka-forward din daw sila ng list of accredited fabricators to you. So, uh, ilagay na lang po natin sa yung email address natin para sila po yung mag-email sa inyo. Yung mirdc at mirdc.dost.gov.ph Okay, thank you. Uh, may isa pa pong tanong dito. Ano-ano pong assistance ang may bibigay ng, ng mirdc sa isang licensed Fabricator. Anyone from the panel? Yes, Sir Emmer. Yeah. Opo. Yung assistance po, yung let's say kung may hard hard to to fabricate the pieza, yung MIRDC po since uh, we are an RDI and have a uh, have a publication facility, tumatanggap pa po kami ng mga jabbing, jabbing nung pyesa na mahirap ipabricate kung hindi kaya nung, nung uh, malit na machine shop nyo or welding shop, hindi kaya gawin yung pyesa. May mga pyesa po kasi yung makina na uh, baka po hindi kaya nung uh, torno nyo, yung milling machine nyo, pwede pong ipagawa sa amin. And kung uh, may tanong kayo dun sa how to manufacture, pwede rin po kayong magtanong sa amin kung paano gagawin yung pyesa na yon. Since uh, license po kayo, yung drawing po nung, ano, nung pyesa, parang uh, kasama na dun sa binili nyo kasi uh, controlled copy po yon. So dapat po uh, kayo yung meron. Kung may tanong po kayo dun sa mga design saka sa mga drawings, Ipo ay uh, handa po namin sagutin dito sa MIRDC. Just uh, uh, don't hesitate to to call us and uh, uh, and have your queries about yung uh, yung kung paano i-fabricate o kung yun nga kung may mga piyesang hindi kayang i-fabricate nung nung makina nyo, meron po kami ng ano rito. Kahit po yung mga gears kaya pong gawin dito sa MIRDC kahit yung mga medyo ano na hindi kaya nung small shops nyo kaya po namin ano uh, kaya po nating uh, i-discuss sit down discussion so just visit our office or email us no so pwede kung uh, detalyado po yung email na queries nyo sasagutin po namin isa-isa yung queries nyo so just give your email and uh, yun iparating nyo sa yung uh, proper channel yung ano yung uh, pag-inquire nyo so yun po okay thank you sir emmer ah uh, uh, may idadagdag po si sir ed de la peña sir yeah uh, this is ed de la peña po yung uh, chief ng uh, tss natin since na uh, yung lahat po kasi ng mga services na inoffer ng mrdc is pwede nyo po ma-avail lalo po kayo kung isang license ng uh, aming uh, technology or equipment. So, meron po kasi kaming mga services sa uh, katulad ng nabanggit ni kasamahan kong si uh, Engineer Banal. Meron tayong services on machine shop. Meron tayong mga pinatawag na mga advanced uh, equipment like CNC. Meron po tayong mga specialized machine like yung ADM Wireka. Meron po tayong mga tinatawag na vacuum heat treatment. So under pa rin po ng technical solution services. Yung, uh, meron po tayong muffled furnace na kakailangan ninyo pagka kayo po nagproduce. So meaning, ang isang assistance ay bibigay namin po sa inyo. Since kayo isang license, sabi nga natin, meron pa yatang 
discounted po kay rito ay uh, ang i-offer po namin sa inyo yung tinatawag nating yung how to uh, fabricate the uh, parts ng machinery na ibig sabihin appropriate pati yung material. Since na pag nag-fabricate ka ng isang material, so kasama na po yun yung consultancy natin sa ano yung gagamitin yung materials, ano yung tamang proseso. So yun po yun. At the same time, meron din po kami nga palang isang facility for metal casting. Yun din tawag nating foundry. Alam niyo naman po siguro kung pamilya kayo dyan. So instead of uh, welding uh, fabrication, or from stock material na nabibili natin, why don't we uh, no, use our inya? Metal casting is also one more economical na ating uh, isang proseso para sa mga parts na pwede natin i-cast. Number one, less na po yung tinatawag natin yung uh, wastage ng uh, machining kasi pagka from stock material, napakalaki po na binabawas ng mga stock. Ibig uh, sabihin doon sa mga materials na minamasi natin. So, doon naman po sa mga rate natin, ito naman po talaga, yung aming machines ay ino-offered palaga to sa mga metal works or sa mga fabricator. So, wag po kayong mahiyang makipag-ugnayan sa amin, kagaya ng sabi ng kasama ko si Engineer Emer Banal. So, willing na willing po kaming tumanggap ng mga requirement, lalo po kayo as licensee, eh, lahat po ng assistance ng isang uh, ng aming ahensya ay eh, pwede po namin kayo mabigyan ng ng ayuda. So, yun lang po at marami pong salamat. Okay, thank you Sir Ed. So, uh, in a nutshell, kung meron po kayong mga queries or que um, clarifications or gusto nyo magpagawa, just contact our TSS or the Technical Solution Services Section um, ilalagay ko po sa chat box yung phone number and then the email address po kanina po natin kanina ibibigay po ito po yung email address <laughs> so uh, paki-email na lang po yung head ng TSS kay engineer kay Mr. Ed de la Peña uh, tss at mirdc.dost.gov.ph or tssmirdc at gmail.com So ilalagay ko po sa chat box yung email address nila, addresses nila. Okay, thank you. So may isa pang question dito. Um, may kasama po bang training on how to use the RTA or RHA kung mag apply po kami ng license? So anyone from the panel? Training po on how to use the RTA, RHA. Kung gusto nila mag-apply ng license. Yes, Miss Gurley. Okay. So, so the purpose of the licensing kasi is gagawa kayo ng yung, uh, yung unit mismo, yung attachment, uh, yung harvester and transplanter attachment. Sorry, medyo maingay lang po dito sa amin ngayon. Uh, so... Bali, uh, aside from yung drawing, yung na-mention ni Emmer, uh, we're going to also provide you with the operations and maintenance manual. So, bali, magiging, pag gumagawa na po kayo ng equipment, you can uh, use the, the actually para siyang generic or yung blank, hindi naman blank, parang generic siya na operations and maintenance manual wherein you can put yung uh, inyong mga, yung logo, yung company details po ninyo. So, uh, it will be part po pag nagbenta na po kayo ng unit. So, uh, yung actual operation po kasi, pag napansin ninyo doon sa video na, ni, na pinakita namin kanina, actually yung nag-operate nag po noon is welder po namin. Hindi naman po siya farmer. So, makikita nyo po, madali lang po siyang, madali lang po siyang i-operate. Madali lang po siyang i-operate. Uh, no special na mga buttons na ilalagay. Pag marunong ka po ng mag-operate ng hand tractor, kayang-kaya po yun. Ang technique lang po doon kasi uh, medyo malaki po yung kanyang turning radius. So, uh, tuturo din po namin sa inyo kung paano po yung pattern on how to harvest or yung transplant. 
para hindi po siya kasi medyo pag naliko po medyo malaki yung turning radio so hindi po uh, lalo na sa har- sa harvester so hindi po masasakop po lahat pero pag meron na po siyang pattern mauubos mo po yung uh, isang uh, field so uh, if if uh, 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 medyo mahirapan po kayo We always provide po technical assistance naman po sa aming sa lahat po naming license ng aming licenses. So kasama na po 'yun doon sa sa magiging arrangements po natin. I hope that answers the question. Ah, okay. Thank you, Miss Gurley. May dadagdag po ba kayo, Miss uh, Sir Ed? Sige po. Dagdag po. Paki-open po yung video. Okay. Oh, ayaw ah. Ayaw mo ng video ko. Anyway, so ito po yung isang ano, yung uh, sabi ko nga, gusto ko rin i-promote yung services talaga ng aming uh, uh, masisya, foundry, heat treatment, metal uh, welding fabrication, ano po. So ito hindi lang po ito doon sa sinasabi namin tinutukoy sa inyo na sa mga license lang po ito. Open po ito for every fabricators. Uh, wala po tayong pinipili, private, government, So yun po, sa lahat po ng mga nangangailangan ng machining, foundry, heat treatment, welding in fab, eh, welcome na welcome po kayong pumunta sa MRDC. Kagaya ng nasabi ng aming kasamaan eh, si Ma'am Judy, eh, na iyan po, kontakin niya lang po kami, diretso po kami makikipag-usap sa inyo. So at least matugunan namin yung pangangailangan nyo. Marami pong salamat. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Ed. So, Any more questions po? So kung wala na, may I request everyone to open your video for the photo op para naman makita namin ang inyong nagagwapuhang mga mukha at ma-post namin. Sali lang po ah. Okay, please open your wala pa akong na-receive na message na hindi ko pwedeng i-post yung mga pictures. So, tingin lang po sa camera. Isang ano lang to, isang slide lang po. So, one, two, three, cheese! Okay, dali lang po. Okay, thank you very much po. So, may evaluation na po. Please check your chat box for the link. And then, after this, meron pa po tayong closing remarks. remarks. So, wag mo na po kayong aalis. Please click the evaluation link po na nasa chat box. Thank you. Okay, salamat Miss Jo and also thank you for the members of the uh, advisory panel kay Ma'am Gurley, kay Sir Ed and kay Sir Emer. So, to end our program, let's all give her a warm applause, the Chief of the Technology Diffusion Division, Miss Lina Afable for the closing remarks. Ma'am Lina, Good morning. Naririnig po ba ako? Opo, naririnig po. Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. So dito na po natatapos yung ating webinar for today tungkol po sa leveling up for mechanization with the rice transplanter attachment or the RTA at rice harvester attachment or the RHA na dinisenyo at dinevelop ng DOST Metals Industry Research and Development Center. Kami po ay lubos na nagpapagamat sa inyong pagtugon sa aming imbitasyon sa webinar na ito, lalong higit sa inyong pagkibahagi sa talakayan tungkol sa RTA at saka sa RHA. Sa panahon po natin ngayon na 
na na tayo ng pandemic, muli na namang pinahina ng magkakasunod na bagyo, ito na natin na mahalagang, uh, mahalaga ang ating industriya ay matibay at matagumpay na haharap sa kahit anong pagsubok. Ang iba't ibang sitwasyon na at mga kapatayan na wala ng trabaho, wala ng pagkakaan, higit, uh, higit sa lahat, uh, maraming sulir, suliranin uh, sa food security at marami pang iba. Sa aming munting paraan, nais naming maging bahagi ng solusyon sa mga pagsubok na ito. Ang DOST, MIRDC at kayo na nasa industriya, naming ahensya ng pamahalaan at mga bumubuo ng akadim, sama-sama po tayo na mapagtagumpayan ang mga pagsubok ito sa pamamagitan ng science, technology, at innovation. Ang ITA at RHA, dalawa lamang po sa maraming output ng research and development support ng MIRDC. Hinihikayat po namin ang mga nasa metalworking industry na maging licensed public course ng ITA at RHA dahil marami po sa mga agricultural sector mga ilangan ng mga makina upang sa antas ng farm mechanization. Ugnayan po tayo sa MIIDC. Tulungan po natin, kayang-kaya po natin kuwing matatang bansa. Resilient at resistant sa mga darating pagpagsubok sa ekonomiya ng ating uh, buhay. So maraming salamat po with that. Sana po ay safe po tayong lahat and uh, I hope that you can join us. Uh, meron pa po tayong mga susunod na mga webinars tomorrow and on Friday. So just uh, log on lang po dun sa MIIDC uh, Facebook and website para makita nyo po yung uh, mga schedules. So Jo, thank you. Thank you po. Yan. Thank, Thank you very much, Ma'am Lina, for the closing remarks. And uh, this concludes the webinar. Again, thank you sa lahat ng umaten. Goodbye and be safe, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye po. Stay bye safe. You. See you sa mga webinars namin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.